Hi everyone, it's Narelle Todd here from Get My Book Out There and I wanted to come to you today and talk about the concept of be, do and have. Now you may have heard of this in coaching terms, it's often used as a way to um, achieve success and to reach certain goals by following the process of of be, do, and then have. So to give you an overview of how this three-part process is typically used, um, if you think of be as, you know, who who do I need to be in order to reach the goal that you've set? Once you've realized who that who that person is that you need to be, once you've realized who that person is, the next step in the process is then to decide, well, uh, what must I do in order to reach my goal? And then the third process is um, what is it that I want? What what is the have part? What am I trying to achieve? Um, And then I achieve that because I've aligned uh, my being and my doing with the having. So that is how the general principle uh, is used of this particular thing. But I want to give you a different perspective on that and how I'm using that with my mastermind group. So we are currently going through a month-long challenge to get um, the authors in the mastermind um, prepped and ready for the big end of year sales push. The period, you know, September and then October, November, December is usually a good period to sell books. So I really wanted the authors in the mastermind just to up their game. And part of that was to get outside their comfort zone and to do things that they didn't necessarily want to do. You know, we all have some of those tasks that we put off and put off because they're things, you know, we know we should be doing them, but we don't want to do them or we know we should do them, but we don't know how to do them or they terrify us or we're we're scared of them. So the challenge that I put to the group was what are the sales activators that you can use each day to really move your sales forward? And this was all part of the process to get them to start thinking. So this was all part of the process to get them start thinking about being mindful about the sales tactics that they were using for their books. All too often, we are using the same things because we're comfortable with them, or we don't like to try new things, or we don't like to um, recognize that something's not actually working, even when it is something that works for everyone else or for the majority of other people. So you could be in Facebook groups and you'll see people going, oh, you know, this one really works for me and I think you should do it. You try it and it doesn't work for you and you go, well, it worked for everyone else. What's wrong with me? So there is a certain aspect of that uh, as well to the resistance to trying new sales activators. So I want you to think of a sales activator really as just a single task that you were using um, it's not like a big thing. It's not say create, you know, you're not going to start a podcast, but it could mean that you're going to do a live video or it could mean that you're going to um, work out how to do a story or a reel and put those on Facebook, Instagram, you know, YouTube, if you have that channel already, TikTok, that sort of thing. So the challenge was for each one in the mastermind to do a sales activator every day, come into the group and then um, say what it is. So be accountable for doing that one thing, that one sales activator, which scares scares them. And I have to say that they've been just brilliant. Everyone is showing up every day. They're being accountable. They're putting in uh, their thing that they're doing, whatever that um, activator looks like. One of the things I noticed was that everybody as part of this went straight to the doing. And this is what made me think of this be, do, have. So I just want to put my spin on the be, do, have in the hopes that it may help you understand how you can approach sales and marketing with a bit of a different spin. So what I uh, am doing now with the group, so we're halfway through the month, what I'm saying to the group is I want you to have a look at the sales activators you're using and Do you have a balance of be, do and have activities? So one thing that I've noticed is that authors find it difficult or struggle with actually celebrating their success. So let me give you an example. Uh, An author in our mastermind uh, 
put out a new release and she was able to get a book ahead, which means that she's not, you know, writing and releasing. She's actually got some um, wriggle room in there. She uh, has written, so she's a book ahead. She uh, is able then to kind of manage herself a little bit more in the adrenaline that comes from a new release and everything that comes for it and then the crash afterwards, all of that sort of stuff, she can handle a bit better now because she doesn't autom- you know, straight away have to go into writing the next book because she's already got that next book written. Um, and so she's always a book ahead now. So a fantastic achievement. Just the new release alone is a fantastic achievement. And I was saying to her, how did you celebrate the release of your book? And she just kind of took this long pause and she said, I didn't. I just, I went straight into the marketing and then I went straight back to my writing and work was busy. Uh, you know, she has a day job. Um, I didn't stop and and celebrate. I didn't go out. I didn't do anything, uh, you know, special. And it made me think, where are we letting ourselves down in the be, do, have um, concept? So doing we're usually pretty good at you know people know the sales tactics um, even though they may not want to try them but they've got the list of things that they need to do so we're pretty good doers one of the things we struggle with is the have which is all around uh, celebrating what we actually have so the fact that people are buying books the fact that you know our numbers are increasing and so I want to have a look at the B as well so the B is who do you need to be in order to be successful at what you're doing And of course, that leads into mindset. And what I was saying to our mastermind was what, how much time as a part of a sales activator are you actually spending on your mindset? So what's one thing that you did today that was mindset related rather than a doing activity? And there was kind of silence in the room because people hadn't thought of it in that way. If you aren't keeping your mind as healthy as your doing part, and if you're not celebrating as you know as well so there needs to be that healthy balance between the three if you're not doing that if all you're doing is actually doing you're on a grindstone and you are just working and working and working and at some stage that's going to impact negatively on your health or on your writing you know it may no longer be fun it may no longer be your passion And many writers get to that point and and wonder what happened. What happened is that they weren't able to focus not just on the doing, which is the writing and the marketing and those sorts of activities, but they weren't focused also on the being. So who do they need to be to be successful and whatever success means to them? And the having, you know, celebrating the wins. They weren't taking time to actually celebrate the wins. So I want you to have a think about how are you in this be, do, have? Are you spending time on your mindset? Are you doing and are you actually celebrating as well? So when you look at your activities over the week that you've planned out as part of your marketing plan, I want you to make sure that there's not just, it's not just full of doing. I want you to put in some things there that are about having fun and celebrating and um being grateful and thankful for everything that you've achieved. The small stuff, it doesn't have to be big, but just the very fact that you're in here doing something needs to be celebrated. And also spend some time on the B. So who do you need to be so that you can continue down this crazy road of being an author and doing your passion, writing the things that you want to write? So I hope this has been helpful. Let us know in the comments below, um, you know, what is the things that you can do in the B part? What what do you need to spend some more time on there? Um, If you have trouble in the doing, what what are you doing? What would you like to do? And in the having, how do you celebrate? And if you're not celebrating, how are you going to celebrate? List some of those things in there so that we can then all share. Um, And there may be something that we haven't thought of as a way to celebrate um, our wins. Right here. Hope this has been helpful. Bye. Hey, thanks for joining us today. You know we've got way more information we want to share with you to increase your book sales. So please come and join me at facebook.com. Get my book out there.